Up next, the wait is over for this heavyweight championship fight between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Carlos Condon. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is 29, Condit is 36. He will have a five inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's the folks fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the challenger, the natural born killer. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my first gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 to one And you see a guy as a striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Lex is the opponent option. Oh, he's the taller fighter in the land and knee to the body with relative ease there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Great punch. Couple of chins here being tested early. And he landed the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight 
right. Oh! That one appeared to stun him. He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Wow! What a fight! So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Straight punch land. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that appearance. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. DC, it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Condit's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Five single collar tie now. The natural born killer gets the tie clinch here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, connects with the one two. Joy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice straight punch. The natural born killer gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Forward, forward. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, man, that jumps out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I have a kick like that. I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Pretty strong jab there by Choi. Final seconds here in round one. Nice punch here. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? You ready. Second round underway. Nice. Condit's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make them pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. I mean, he's 
cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Checks that leg kick. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. in that kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes on top. He's hurt. Of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Dig and kick. Plus, right hand is true. Just over three minutes to go. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice diversity of the attack. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Pretty good right hand. Effective punch there by Chor. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Flips the punch nicely there. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Super Bowl. One, two punch by Condit. Looks like his leg is hurt here, limping a little bit. There's no tell on that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Changes his stance. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on this play here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Championship fight. Oh, nice 
nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Nice leg kick. Now from the bottom, nice work there by Condon. Got his guard pass. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Block that kick to the body. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Condon. Nice. A little single collar tie there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Again, you can't hold a good man down. Timely defense there, huge block for him. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what he oh! can. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of the third round. To play the winner by knockout and still. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He